penalty at about 60%. So third and final attempt at 2.33 for Maxim Edasco. Came here as the leader in Europe at 2.26. But no less than three men have gone higher than that during the course of this competition, including this man. Third and final attempt at 2.33. Oh, where did that one come from? He digged that out. That is unbelievable, especially after his lacklustre second attempt. How on earth did he do that? And it wasn't just a slither over the bar. It was a fantastic clearance didn't touch the bar with any part of his body. Well, what's he going to do now? That's a championship record laying to waste. Voldemar Yashenko's 40-year-old mark. Well, I have to say, I mean, I'm biased. I love the high jump. But for me, this is the performance of the championships. Maxim Nedaskov, well, he passed his final attempt at 2.28. Very similar to what happened in Grosseto last year. He was behind and then produced clutch jumps at heights, and he's done it again, 2.31. First man over this height. There's four men still in this competition at 2.28. We lost Asset, Protsenko and Bednarak. Let's have a look at this again, just one centimetre shy of his season's best. Two centimetres shy of his personal best set in Grosseto. Now, Nedaskov of Belarus got that clutch jump at 2.31. Now attempting 2.33. Oh, and he's clear. He equals his personal best. Will that be the gold medal jump? He is such a talent, this Belarus athlete. European under-20 champion when he really pulled it out with a series of last gasp efforts that went clear. And now, first attempt at 2.33 to take the lead. The jump off. First attempt at 2 metres 29 for Nedosekov. Gale will come after him. So Nedosekov. He 
two failures during the regular competition at this height. And he gets over, cleanly over for Nedosekov. Nedosekov now really throwing down the gauntlet to Tom Gale. This is sudden death jump off. And Nedosekov didn't blink, got over 229.